एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ फोर्थ ऑफ जुलाई फर्स्ट द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट टुडे आल्सो एफ आई आईज वर नेट बायर्स आई वाज एक्चुअली एक्सपेक्टिंग एफ आई आईज टू बी लो टुडे बिकॉज ऑफ द हॉलिडे इन यूएस इन दिस कैलेंडर आई फॉर्ड दिस आइकन येस्टरडे दिस इज द बजट आइकन मोस्ट लाइकली द बजट विल बी प्रेजेंटेड ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट अपडेट फॉर द डेज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट हैज लेड ऑफ सम मोर पीपल आई टी इज नॉट लुकिंग गुड ग्लोबली द फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एक्सेंचोर इज अराउंड थ्री नाइनटी इट इज राइट नाउ रफली अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड ऑल्सो जेन ए आई इज टिल द हॉट टॉपिक बट इट्स नॉट वर्किंग द वर्ड डज नॉट नीड जेन ए आई इफ इट इज नॉट एट जीरो कॉस्ट आई इनफेक्ट वॉज एक्सप्लोरिंग इफ आई कूड यूज जेन ए आई अ बिट फॉर माई पर्पज इट वॉज टू एक्सपेंसिव एच डी एफ सी बैंक हैज रिलीज द अपडेट फॉर क्यू वन नाउ दिस मे सीम लाइक अ गुड न्यूज हाउ आर आई नीड टू एनालाइज वेदर दिस विल इम्पैक्ट देयर एन आई एम विच इज नेट इंटरेस्ट मार्जिन बिकॉज हायर इंटरेस्ट रेट्स विल अट्रैक्ट द कासा एंड द डिपॉजिट्स बट दैट विल लीड टू लोअरिंग ऑफ मार्जिन अनलेस यू कैन पास इट ऑन टू द कंज्यूमर्स टेस्ला इज नो लॉन्गर कमिंग टू इंडिया एटलीस्ट फॉर नाउ निफ्टी टूडे वेंट नो वेयर कंसोलिडेट विद पॉजिटिव बायस बैंक निफ्टी ऑल्सो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री परसेंट निफ्टी आई टी वॉज अप अ लॉट टूडे आई हेड मैंशन यस्टर्डेज अपडेट दैट आई एक्सपेक्ट टी सी एस टू विद हॉर्स टूडे वन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट अप अलॉन्ग विद आई सी आई सी ए बैंक रैंस एज आई हेड एक्सपेक्टेड एक्चुअली हेल्ड द मार्केट टूगेदर इट इज जीरो परसेंट बट इट वॉज अप फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द डे एंड देन वेन डाउन अ लिटिल एयरटेल वॉज रियली चॉपी इन्फोसिस अप अनदर वन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट यू एस मार्केट आर क्लोज दिस इज डेटा फॉर येस्टरडे एनवीडिया वॉज अप फाइव परसेंट टेस्ला वॉज अप सेवन परसेंट टेस्ला इज ऑन फायर इट वॉज डाउन अ लॉट अबाउट टू मंथ बैक बट नाउ इट हैज नियरली रिगेंड ऑल ऑफ द टेरिटरी वॉट इज डाउन हाउ एवर इज बिटकॉइन डाउन अनदर फोर परसेंट दिस इज द ग्राफ फॉर बिटकॉइन इन यू एस डी इट वॉज अराउंड सेवेंटी फोर थाउजेंड फ्रॉम दर इट हेज कम डाउन टू नियरली फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड लेवल्स इनफैक्ट बिटकॉइन टिपिकली टेक्स डाउन अदर क्रिप्टोज अलॉन्ग विद इट If Bitcoin falls one dollars, most other cryptos tier two ones fall about five dollars. Rupee did not go anywhere. Brent cooled down a bit. Next fifty was up another half percent today. Nifty Energy also was up a bit. This is what I was saying. Reliance was nearly in the green zone for most of the day. Then it came down a bit, but this also is a ten point fall only. ICICI Bank. went up and up and now it does not want to pause till it catches up with hdfc bank and hdfc bank corrected a lot today atel very very choppy that to large moves other banks also were very choppy up down up up down up down up most of the banks were really really all over the place today so on bank nifty expiry nifty was choppy on nifty expiry bank nifty was choppy one thing which was not choppy at all was defense masgaon dock shot up 20% yet again cochin shipyard also upper circuit grse another 10% hal the big boy actually is not moving much so is bl they are not going anywhere i'll talk about masgaon dock slightly later when i discuss my trades i sold off my stocks so i'll share the reasoning for that it sector the top 3 were up a lot Persistent was up another three percent. Wipro a bit of profit booking, but that's well deserved. I don't track HCL, but that was up with very high volumes. Energy sector actually did not go anywhere. Neither the producers nor the oil companies. Select stocks were up and down. However, the big boys literally no change. ONGC one percent up. Volumes also were okay. Castrol another three percent up with high volumes. In fact, this time no one even talked about the news of windfall tax being raised. That news just kind of flew by without any impact. HDFC and ICICI are seesawing alternately. Today was a turn of HDFC Bank profit booking, but ICICI went up. Yesterday ICICI was down, HDFC was up. SBI is totally undecided where to go, left or right. The sector was down 0.3 percent, however. Volumes were okay. Both of the top two banks are at comparable PE ratios. I have a strong feeling that in two years' time, these two stocks may actually change positions. it may happen sooner but not later aerospace and defense the rockstar sector masgaon dock the superstar yet again everyone in the 90 to 100% zone very high volumes but so this is the graph of masgaon dock going up the 52 week low and 52 week high are nearly 1 is to 4 in ratio now if we go to p ratio part the eps no doubt is increasing but look at the pe increase to nearly 60 now Now, 60 kind of PE is deserved by stocks which multiply in terms of sales and profit numbers. For example, if sales today are 100 crores, then we expect that in next three years this will become say 500 crores or something like that. So that leads to a forward PE being reasonable in few years time. In case of Masgaon Dock, 
I don't think that the order book will swell so big. Also, I don't think they can deliver or increase their capacity so much. Same was the case with GRSE. So while both of them remain good companies, these valuations cannot be justified in next two to three years. Also, there's one more factor. If you look at the investors, government owns 85%. FIIs own 2.38%. They have actually reduced their stake in the March quarter. DIIs hardly own anything. Public stake has gone up. FIIs will probably not buy much into defense at all because it is highly regulated and government owns 84%. DIIs have to buy from domestic holders. So it is public only which is kind of playing the cat and mouse game, selling to each other every day at 5%, 10% extra money. At the end of the day, the stock will crash someday because it has gone up like anything. It will come vertically down when it does. If you don't believe me, look at the numbers on 4th of June. At that time, people who bought for long term here will be left stranded for several years in losses if they don't average lower or book losses. So trading yes, investing no in my opinion. Market breadth was okay, 22 sectors up compared to 27 yesterday. Today's biggest contributors were software, aerospace, insurance, automobile and pharma. Banking, construction materials, diversified industrial goods which is Adani Enterprises and personal and household products were dragging the indice down. Bajaj Holdings was up a lot today so holding companies are reflecting 6% up. Auto Maruti corrected a bit but rest everyone was up. The sector was up 1%. Vern Beverage is now inching towards a lifetime high. Coal India up 1%. LNT down, RBNL up. IRB up, cement pack deep cuts, Adani Enterprises down 1.5%, rent goes up every day, food and tobacco corrected a bit, no major cuts, however all the big boys shed some gains, this is what I was talking about, Bajaj Holdings up 6.5%, insurance led by LIC was up a lot today, 1.35%, investment banking, HDFC asset management was up, but today Nippon corrected, Siemens ABB up, so heavy machinery sector was up, metals and mining, Hindustan Zinc and Vedanta were up a bit, as a result the sector was up 0.5%, Nifty 50 was divided today, 28 down, 22 stocks up, hardly 2-3 stocks had high volumes, the Lagards had actually low volumes, most stocks average volumes. HDFC was the biggest underperformer followed by Bajaj Finance, Wipro, Adani Enterprises, all big stocks. What was up? HCL, ICICI, Tata Motors, Sun Pharma. Next 50, 21 stocks down, 29 up. Bajaj Holdings was up most, 6.5% followed by Zydus, LIC, TVS Motors. What was down? Ambuja, ICICI, Lombard, InfoEdge, Adani Total. The top performers had good volumes, Bajaj Holdings 400%. My portfolio today I bought railway stocks, I was talking about it yesterday. RVNL, IRFC. One is the construction company, other is the finance company. I also bought Madarsan Sumi Wiring. I was feeling left out in the auto space. So I thought this is one company which enjoys high margins. It is specialist in auto wiring. No one would change a vendor in this space and their business is kind of assured. So if auto is doing well, this company should do well. Also copper prices are getting saner now. So their margins will expand only. I am undecided whether I'll just trade into it or keep it for long term for now. Mass Financial was down a lot today so I bought slightly more quantity but this batch is for trading. I'll sell it as soon as the stock is up a bit. I exited Musgaon Dock completely today. Now it may be up 20% again tomorrow but the exponential graph is now nearly getting at 90 degree. This is the scary zone. I don't want to make money in this zone where I might lose 40 to 50% in two days in terms of my original capital. The stock was already up 90%. I had sold 20% yesterday. Remaining I sold today. I exited Kotak Mahindra completely today. There are enough banks to choose from. I did not want to deal with the Hindenburg fiasco at all this time. Especially when we have HDFC and ICICI bank available. That too at not absurd fees. I reduced Infosys also. I will probably sell off completely in next few days. I still have persistent in the IT space but in general while I'm an IT person I have low presence in IT right now. My investment and trading calendar today was a good day. The cash positions good profit options also was profitable. Let me take you there. Decent profit for the day 41,800. Nifty also was profitable. I was trying a lot of strategies in last few days. Finally those clicked today. The short straddle from yesterday gave decent money. So not the peak of 15,000 but Nifty was up 0.3% when I sold it. So this was the payoff chart. I was somewhere around this part at that stage. So if Nifty had gone up more, I would have turned into loss. I could have waited for Nifty to correct and it did correct and I felt it will correct. But as soon as Nifty would have corrected a bit more maybe, I would have again moved towards loss. The 
peak profit was here. So I was getting around 6,000 at this point. I thought I'll just book the profit because at that point, decay was also coming in. Bharti went up a lot in that day. See, this is the part where ATL went through the roof. I was already short, so that position became loss making. I immediately averaged lower. And when ATL came down, there was a decent profit. I was long yesterday on ICICI Bank. The profit is 20,000. Or if I just held on for another one hour or two hours, this profit would have been nearly 50,000. I sold too early, but that's okay. TCS, I was trying out my theory. I had mentioned it will be profitable today. It was up a lot, 1.4%. However, I had just one lot. So the profit was only 3,000. Right now, I have a short position with zero profit loss in ICICI. Let's see how it does tomorrow. I expect ICICI to cool down a bit tomorrow. I will not take this position to next week because I'm an option buy here and the decay will take a lot of money from me. In fact, I'll probably close this position early. It is pretty satisfying to see your strategies work. I've been working hard on developing the software around it, but it was not working for last. And there was a deep cut last week where I let go of most of the profit. I earned 80,000 one day and I let go of 80,000 another day. Now this does not guarantee that I'll make money tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow I might just stay out for a bit. In terms of strategy, I'm getting clearer on what will not make money or what will make losses. Let's see if I can continue to find ways of making money, however. Nifty is getting into expensive zone now. However, the bulls are not showing signs of tiredness. The sectors and stocks have started rotating. So there is healthy profit booking also going on. If you're long on the market, do consider the philosophy of booking partial profits at least. Otherwise, in one big fall, you will erase all the gains of last few months, especially last one month since the election day, markets have only gone north enjoy the roller coaster for now make good money in the markets thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow